messaged me asking me how to set up Raid Call for their um, guild. Raid Call is a pretty good program, completely free to use and everything. You can have up to like 100,000 people or something in your group. Um, I just started using it a month, month and a half ago maybe. Seems, seems to be working pretty well for me. So basically you go to raidcall.com up here, you uh, download the program, and then when you double click on it, you'll see, you'll get this right here. Obviously you won't have my username in it, but you go create new account. It'll take you to this page right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know, we've all created accounts on stuff before, so that's pretty simple to do. And then next time you open it up, you input your username, your password, sign in. Now here's where it gets pretty tricky. If somebody has a group already, um, I mean, you can you can create your own group, or if you already know a group, for example, your guild leader or something like that has a group, you can go in here and do a search for either the name or the the um, number of the group. And what I mean by that is, I'll show you. Here's my group that I created. You can do a search for either this or you can do a search for the ID number under here. Now the great thing with um, this this program, other than it being completely free, uh, it doesn't seem to lag me at all to use this program and you can have different rooms and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of features on it that I don't use because I don't have a lot of people that um, come in here with me, just a few of my guild mates. And once you get in here once you find the group that you want to go to, you just click on it and enter. And then there are actually a few things that you want to set up. Um, like down here, you're going to want to go to this right control button. Because having a, con a push to talk button is always the best way to go for these kinds of things so that you're not getting background noise and stuff like that. Um, like Skype has. Skype is a big pain in the ass for that dog. Seriously, how did you get stuck there? Oh my god, retard. Okay. So you go to here, you click the push to talk, and then click in here, and then just push whatever button you want to use as your push to talk button. No, sorry, Cora, I'm uh, doing the recording. That's the sound I'm making. Okay, then you're going to want to go into here to advanced. Yeah, you could do the push to talk in here as well. You can look at hotkeys and stuff like that. If you happen to need any of this stuff, I don't really use any of that stuff. Um, personally, I like to have all the sound alerts on. That way, as you just heard a minute ago, when I push my control button, you can hear me. I can hear um, my that I'm about to talk and that my microphone is on. And then when you let, release it, you can hear that the key actually released. So you need these to actually, it, it, originally it will say disable like that and this will be clicked. So you need to unclick that and then you need to click on each of these if you want the sounds. So I mean it's pretty easy. Um, the rest of the stuff you can look through, set up your microphone, stuff like that. Uh, there was one other pain in the butt thing this right here you want to set this to sign out and exit the application completely if you don't when you X out the, the, the program will still continue running so people will still hear you talking you'll still hear other people talking um, but when you sign this uh, when you click this and then click Save and then X this out, it will completely close the program out. So it, for any of you familiar with Ventrilo, you hear it has the same sounds as Ventrilo. Um, it's a pretty easy program to use. If you have any questions or anything on that, let me know. I have a Facebook page. Just do a search for The Thrill uh, or thethrill.com or I'm on Twitter now as well. And I'm on wartoon.com, server 153.
Where am I? Oh, yeah. 